Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Erlenmeyer floor lamp. This is the 247810. It's also a matching table lamp that goes with this. That's the 277810. Watch the video on that. Check it out. It's a cool fixture anyway, but it shares the same glass, so we're going to be able to talk about the glass a little bit. And I'm also going to talk about more of detail of the bulbs that you can put in both of these in that table lamp video, so go watch that. I have that on the on the actual table here so that'll show you some of the same parts because the top of this lamp the floor lamp is pretty much the table lamp at the end of the day let's get into the size of this to begin with 51 inches tall the diameter is coming in at 11.3 this is almost 30 pounds so it's pretty substantial it's hard to tip over which is really good <clears throat> the top of this as far as the um, on off switch is going to be a toggle switch and you just kind of like just move it toggle back and forth so this does not have a dimmer associated with it, but you can plug this into a secondary line. You know, uh, they have these extension cords that have dimmers built in, and then you just plug it into your wall. So you can still dim this without a problem. Let's get into the glass on this, which I do have right here. So very substantial glass, hand-blown glass from Hubberton Forge. Look how thick that is. That bottom part is really incredible. It's also very substantial. This is not lightweight stuff. So this is 5.96 inches in diameter, and the height's coming in at uh, 7.44, which is pretty important because that's, that's going to talk and dictate the bulb that you can get into this. <clears throat> so what you can get into this is called an A19 bulb. So that's the biggest bulb you'll be able to get in. This is a regular size light bulb we all grew up with, and this is a LED version. You could get an Edison version that has a little point on it, but I think this is so close to that design that it's actually fine to do one of these. And as far as um, little details about this, or if you want to go back to an incandescent, you can do that too. You can go up to a 60 watt incandescent, but these are so much better and they use very little electricity and they give you more options. And the, the other thing is if you were going to put this on that secondary dimmer, these come up to 150 watt equivalent for incandescent, right? So an LED that's almost uh, gives you the same power as 150 watt incandescent, which I found at Walmart of all places, and it was dimmable in the right color I like. So that's something to think about. But if you just want to have, um, you know, a 60 watt equivalent or a 40 watt equivalent, these are sim si yeah, super simple to get and super simple to use. And I got this at a local hardware store, this guy, and uh, Ace Hardware, and, you know, my, actually my grocery store sells these, so you should be able to get them wherever you walk into. It's a medium base socket, just like that. Medium base here, screws in without a problem just like that okay and the uh, other little detail on this which we'll just touch on is the cord is actually a cloth covered cord which is kind of an old-timey 1920s design so it's kind of cool that way too so, uh, touching base back on this there's this is going to be offered to you in lots of different colorways so you know you're going to be able to see this through the clear glass so it's pretty important what you have coming out of it if you want that warmth of a setting sun that's going to be 2700 kelvin that's going to be offered to you in these leds if you want that daylight which it's called daylight but it does not mean it's a warm light that's that cooler hospital waiting room light that bluish white light i don't think it's going to be good coming out of this and that's going to be that 4000 5000 kelvin offered to you at the store uh, if you do want what we like, it's, that's called warm white or soft white, and that's this nice warmth of the light coming down on my hands. That is 3,000 Kelvin. That's what we like to use. That's what this bulb is. So it's, you're good to go on that. And again, if you're going to be putting in a brighter bulb, just make sure you get a dimmable version and then pick up one of those dimmers. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you are on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over in the red tabs with the pictures in them over there. You're going to see a finishes help guide tab. Open that up for me. It's going to be a video there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart just down below. So scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a chart. You can click on that chart. So you can click on dark smoke. You can click on soft gold. Doesn't matter. Big page will pop up showing lots of different things in that finish. You can go back to the chart and you'll notice there's letters A's on them, letter B's on some of those things, and that's going to be showing you this range of variants that you can expect to see on different translucent finishes, but I'll talk about all of that in the video, okay? Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubberton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubberton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubberton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. 
Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display and including which finish, which shade, all of those things, and what kind of glass is on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to... A little under two weeks it's it's a very small addition per line item so if you have like one two three items like let's say three or four outdoor sconces and they're all the same size and they're all the same finish that's one line item so it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things don't be afraid to email us and ask about that okay so that's really it if you guys have any other questions let us know we would love to see you in our showroom sometime and thanks for stopping in